What's going on, fellas? This is Mike D, Mr. Double Down on you, and I hope y'all are having a great day. Hope y'all are making things happen and making the most of the moments that we have. Because again, you know, when you think about it, all we have is this moment. What's happened already is the past, water under the bridge. What hasn't happened yet is undetermined. That's the future. What we have is right now, and I hope you all are making the most of those moments. Um, today's quick episode, man, I really want to touch on the concept of storytelling. Storytelling. Um, when you think about any situation, any circumstance, anything that you view, you know, any news article, anything that gets put out there, the reality is it's all about storytelling. What story is being told? What narrative is being created? And you really need to sometimes really evaluate who is telling that story because everyone has a motive. Now, every motive does not mean that someone is being malicious. That doesn't mean that someone is trying to do harm, but there is a motive behind it. That motive could be inspiration. That motive could be to incite action. That motive could be to help people to improve and think about things differently. That motive could be, you know, simple motivation. Like they want you to be the best version of yourself or to really pull that thing that's inside of you out to make the best things happen. So the reality is storytelling is extremely important, but we have to challenge at times who we allow to tell those stories who we allow to tell those stories. Who do we give authority to, to tell stories that actually are supposed to move the needle? Think about that. You know, with this phone that I'm recording this on, uh, with the phone that's probably in your pocket that you're watching this video or listening to this podcast episode on, you have the capacity to tell stories. You have the capacity to create a narrative. And no matter how big or how small it may be, you also have a captive audience. It might be a captive audience of one or two, but you have a captive audience. You have the ability to influence or have some people to think about or have individuals think about things in ways that are, you know, potentially productive. Just like there are, um, there are entities or there are institutions that want you to think about things negatively or to think about things in a in a way that could potentially be destructive to society you have the potential to tell a story that allows us to build right but again it all comes back to storytelling it comes back to narrative it comes back to the intention of the narrative that's being created and we can see that now in you know one of the the top cases or one of the top scenarios that's impacting our community right now is the Ahmad Arbery case Right. The Ahmad Arbery situation and obviously our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and, you know, anybody connected to the brother. I mean, we all are connected to him, but just a negative situation associated with it. But if you pay attention to it from a news outlet perspective, it's about narrative being created. It's the narrative of him. It's the narrative of the murderers. It's the narrative of, you know, everything, the laws, and everything associated with it. And. We have to be mindful of that. Every story, there's a narrative associated and there is an intention behind every narrative. And my challenge to you brothers, as you realize the, the impact of the, the phone that you have in your pocket, which literally at this specific moment can impact the world, right? That you can reach anybody at any space around the world at this given moment using this device that you're watching this video or listening to this this podcast on and you, you hear the little kid across the street it's it's a funny thing the moment you start recording is when the kids in the neighborhood get buck wild right interesting but this is black fathers now so it is what it is but long story short when you think about the concept of narrative you have the capacity to create a narrative that could incite positive action that could help people to think about things differently that could help folks to see things from different angles and I'm going to challenge each one of you all as black fathers to take the initiative and do so. I'm going to challenge you every black father out there to make it a point to do your part to create a narrative, to tell a story that uplifts, that educates, that inspires, but you pull from your experience as a black man in America to do so. Because that experience is something that cannot be created, that cannot be um, manufactured 
you know, in Hollywood or can't be manufactured from a non-authentic perspective, right? And that's the beauty that we bring to the table as black men, as black fathers, is we have the capacity to tell stories from an authentic perspective that actually can move the needle. And in cases like the Ahmaud Arbery case or the Breonna Taylor case or the numerous cases that we see out there in the world today, we need to make sure to tell the story from our perspective. We need to make sure to create narratives that help to educate us, educate our people, to educate our communities about how to approach these things. And, um, and we need to do so frequently and create a critical mass of brothers doing that. Because fellas, we're black fathers. We're leaders in the home. We're leaders in the community. We're leaders, you know, we're leaders in society, right? Whether we want to be or not, we are. And we need to take the helm. You know, I've used it before and I'm going to use it again right now. Nelson Mandela stated that fools multiply when wise men stay silent. So, fellas, we got to speak up, man. All right. So tell your story. Use the resources at your disposal to tell your story. Create a narrative. But come from the standpoint of the intention of helping people to see things from different angles so that we can ultimately lead to improvement. And that's what this thing is all about, man storytelling is everything but for far too long we've allowed you know others to tell the story that we in essence are supposed to tell all right well hey i hope this thing you know i hope this resonates with you all man i hope you can gain something from it and i hope there's at least somebody out there listening today you know maybe they're hundreds maybe they're thousands maybe they're millions that hear this today that literally are inspired to start telling stories to start telling from the perspective of their authentic experience, but then also being intentional about the narrative that they create so that the narrative that they create leads to positive outcomes and empowerment within our communities. All right. Well, fellas, as always, make sure to visit blackfathersnow.com. Um, visit IamMikeDorsey.com. Yo, check this out. Apparel. Father's Day is coming up. Ladies, I know y'all are listening. Visit blackfamilyapparel.com. We have some dope apparel to celebrate um, dads and black fathers on Father's Day and father-like figures. Let's not forget about the brothers who might not be biological fathers, but are father figures in the lives of kids. Let's celebrate them. Let's not forget about us. We don't forget about y'all on Mother's Day, so don't forget about us on Father's Day. But visit blackfamilyapparel.com and grab some dope apparel that celebrates the black family, but it's a lot of stuff there for you know Father's Day. So grab the stuff to, uh, now because, again, fulfillment times have been a lot slower due to the COVID-19 crisis. So get your orders in now. And, um, yo, as always, y'all be blessed, well, and wise. And I holla at you. Peace!